right, first cast. We're at Lake Mendocino fishing for catfish. I got my mom with me. Say hi. And we're gonna be jigging some bobbers up and down these rocks. We did pretty good the other day on Mother's Day. So we're gonna come back out here and see if we have any luck. Some other guy just showed up in our spot we were at. Let me see him. That's where we were on Mother's Day. And she caught a big old catfish and a little red ear. So we don't do any luck here. We're just gonna continue walking these rocks down until we find a little honey hole. We're just throwing our bait out there on a bobber, dangling it down about four feet, and hope for a good bite. So all we're doing is we're taking these little jig heads, and they got these little barbs on them. We're sticking them through the chovy, and then sticking that barb right into that frozen meat. That way, that hook is just sitting out there like that. Easy, anything comes up to grab it, they're gonna get snagged. All right, first cast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see her bobber, but our bait is about four feet down. And we're about anywhere from 25 to 40 feet out and that wind is just going to slightly drift us with the current. Well, we just got our first bite. We're hoping that that luck continues. And of course it was her. Not me. Right after the fish jumped a foot from my bobber. Oh yeah. Very rude. Well, no luck there. So we're going to move up a little bit, about 100 yards, and see if we have any luck there. So really hard walking on these rocks, especially for my mom. She got her crutches going. So, well, my mom almost walked right into this rattlesnake. Didn't even sound off. See its tail's going up underneath that rock. Yeah, you got to be careful out here. This is where they live. Let's see which way he's going. I don't know if you can see the light really bad right there. I do have my fishing net on me and I do have a knife. I could just throw a rock at it and we could eat this. No. But he's going up into his hole. So we're just going to let him be. He's not hurting nobody right now. It's kind of scary that they're not sounding off. Being all quiet. Yeah. It's going to be a really bad year for rattlesnakes in California. They're everywhere out here, so. Yep, hiding up underneath this rock. It looks like it was a two or three year old. All right, we're going back to fishing. So we arrived at the other spot, about 100 feet away from that rattler. If he comes near us, we'll eat him. We've got a nice little log to sit on. We'll post out here and hopefully catch the big one. All right, stay tuned. Ooh, really good bite. They're jumping out there in front of us. So we're gonna get back to it. So I caught this little crawdad. I'm gonna throw it on the hook. See what it does. Right. 
Well, we had a few bites, but no luck. So we're gonna head out, call it a day. Not let it discourage us to come out next time. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe not, because it is gonna rain. We have a storm coming in. It's supposed to last a week, so. We ended up right down there, underneath the tower, old fallout shelter. And we're just walking the road back. Got a nice little jogging road. But man, they were jumping out there, just not biting. Right down there is the steelhead hatchery for the Russian River. That's where it all happened. 